Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm going to show you how you can run Android applications on a Windows, computer, Mac, Linux, Chrome OS system using the Google Chrome web browser and a tool called Arc Welder. Now, this is a developer tool that's really designed to help uh, Android app developers test their applications, see if they're going to work in the Chrome browser, and then submit them to the Chrome web store. It's a pre-release beta uh, application, but it does work with many apps out of the box. Not all apps, but many apps. So you can see, for instance, that I've got the Hootsuite application for Android running here, and I can interact with it as if I were using an Android device. Now, normally, it only lets you load one application at a time, and the way you would do that is you would uh, download an application, click Add Your APK, and test it. But I'm gonna show you how you can actually get multiple apps installed. So I've got Songza and Hootsuite, and I'm gonna go ahead and download and install a third application. So I'm uh, firing up an app here called Raccoon, and you can find more details about that at lilliputing.com. And I'm going to search for an app called Business Calendar. And what this lets me do is download it from the Google Play Store. So it's downloaded, and it creates a folder here in my documents called uh, AppGenix BizCal. Once I've done that, we have to go through a few more hoops here. So uh, like I said, I know this application works which is why I downloaded that. I tried some other applications, YouTube um, and Netflix don't work. Okay, so first up, we're gonna go ahead and fire up that Arc Welder application, which is already running. Choose your APK file. taking a little longer than expected, so I'm just going to restart that. Do it again. And here we see the name of the file, the icon, and a couple of options. We can choose portrait or landscape mode, tablet or phone, clipboard access or no. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to click launch app. Now you can do this with any app. This is sort of the easy way. Once you have an APK file, you can just sort of run one application at a time this way and we've got Business Calendar. Next, though, I'm going to show you how to install multiple apps. So let's click Download Zip, and what that's going to do is create a zip file in the same folder here, or you can put it in a different folder if you'd like. Now we're going to close this. Let's go ahead and delete the APK. Unzip this file into that folder, and let's go ahead and delete the zip file as well. So now we've got a folder we created the zip file, then we unzipped, file, unzipped that file. And now we want to go into our Google Chrome settings here. Uh, you can go to More Tools, Extensions to get to this window, and then make sure you check the box at the top that says Developer Mode. From there, we can click Load Unpacked Extensions, navigate to that folder that we just unzipped our app to, and select the entire folder and click OK. If that works, it should show up right here. Now we've actually got Business Calendar twice because I went through this before. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete one of those. And here we go. So now we've got Songza, Hootsuite, and Business Calendar. And to show you that we can run them all, let's go ahead and load more than one. Okay, so we've got a calendar, we've got social media, we've got Songza for listening to music, all running at the same time using Chrome and the Arc Welder tool. Now again, this isn't going to work with every single application. I just showed you three that I know do work. Uh, business Calendar, for instance, normally wants to synchronize with your phone or tablet's uh, calendar. I just sort of created a generic new calendar here, and um, we can use that but the application is really not that useful if it doesn't sync. So um, again, beta tool not really meant to let you do these things. It's really meant for testing applications as opposed to running them, but it works great with songs and some other applications for streaming media, for keeping up on your social networks, and for running these things as individual apps instead of just browser tabs 
Um, and some applications that might not be available as web-based applications can run this way as well. So that is a look at using the Arc Welder tool and the Raccoon tool and Google Chrome to run Android apps on a Windows computer. Same basic steps should work on, uh, on other machines, including Chrome OS, Linux, or a Mac. Uh, the Raccoon tool might not work on all of those systems, but there are other ways to get your APK files as well. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.